We shall move now to a list of speakers for, of non-governmental organizations. The first on my list is Center CCPR. Please, you have the floor. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. The Center for Civil and Political Rights appreciate the High Commissioner's oral update and their efforts to address the crisis in Myanmar. The Tatmando has been continuing to commit atrocities and use brutal tactics against the people of Myanmar, denying their fundamental rights and oppressing their lives, including the deliberate blocking of the delivery of humanitarian assistance to the people in need. It is highly deplorable that over a year since the five-point consensus was agreed by the ASEAN and the Tatmado, virtually no progress or any genuine efforts was made by the junta to implement them. The situation has been exacerbated by the escalation in the fighting between the junta and the opposing groups. Civilian death tolls are increasing day by day. With the restrictions imposed on the internet and other communication channels by the junta, the reality on the ground is much worse than any available statistics show. As highlighted in our written statement, Tatmado has also turned the judiciary and entire legal system into its extended arm to persecute opponents. The recent rejection of the appeals of four individuals against their death sentence and the junta plans to proceed with the resecution is another example. Madam High Commissioner, what action do you recommend to this council to put an end to the continuing atrocity and violation of international human rights and humanitarian law by the Myanmar military? What measures are required from all of us to strengthen the ability of the Security Council to prevent and address such conflict situation? What kind of role can treaty bodies play in addressing impunity, advancing accountability, and bringing back peace, the rule of law, and human rights to the people of Myanmar? Thank you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you.